right. So with the practice, you will understand a lot more. So when Christine, the verb to be 20, she have a part-time job. <clears throat> Yes, when Christine, Christine is a name of a girl. This is the subject pronoun she. And with she, the verb to be becomes was for sure. So this is one person. So when Christine was 20, she, yes, she had a part-time job. The cool thing about the simple past is that it's the same form for all the verbs, apart from the verb to be, for all the, uh, I meant for the, for all the subjects. It's not like in the simple present when we have to add an S to, uh, with he, she, it. Here in the simple past, it's had with all the subjects. I had, you had, she had, he had, it had, we had, they had, and with all of them, it's just had. So, where you put your keys? A question? Uh-huh. Very good, everyone. So, madam, what did we say, yeah, madam? Look at the questions again. They lived in Germany in the early 2000s. So, what do we write then? Did they live in Germany? So, it's the same thing. So what do I write, madame? Mm -hmm. So whenever you ask a question, very good, you start with did. So then did, where did you put your keys? What you buy from the supermarket? Same thing. Very good. Yes, there you go now. So what did you buy from the supermarket? I buy some fruit and vegetables. So that's my answer. Uh-huh. Excellent. I bought. Remember, bought is with an O. So I bought some fruit and vegetables. Stephen played the violin when he was a kid. And there is a question mark. Good. Ayat, Abdelhadi, Sarah, Wajd, Aya, Tasnim, Suhail, Amna. Very good. Hanin, Aya, Laith, Nihad. Ines, Saisha, Maram, yeah, Maram, so Maram and Ritej. So do you have the verb to be here in the sentence? Do you see the verb to be? Do we have the verb to be? No, so uh, because we have two Marams, huh? I'm talking to... Madam, I think in Nasser, yes, exactly. So we, since we don't have the verb to be, then what do we do? Which verb do we use? You use the verb to be only when you have it in your sentence. If you don't have the verb to be, you use the verb. Very good, to do. Now the verb to do in the past becomes? Yes, did, exactly. So then we start with it. There you see it. So did, and then my subject. Who is my subject? It's Stephen. Yes. So did Stephen. And then I simply write the verb play the way it is. Did Stephen play the violin when he was a kid? Yes, he did. Or no, he did not. Okay. When your brother come back home last night. Question again. Okay, very good. So Hiba or Umayma, I don't know which one is your name. Uh, remember, we do not conjugate the verb in the question. Yes, Hiba, okay. So it has to be a bare infinitive, non-conjugated. So when did your brother, this is the subject, and then, just like play, you see play and buy and put, 
They're all non-conjugated. So when did your brother come? Just the way it is. Okay, very good. Then number six. When in Scotland, this means when I was in Scotland, what happened? I visit my friend Bob. Excellent and congratulations, Tisnim. Keep it up, girl. Yes, I visited. This is regular, so we simply add ed. When your uncle die, question. Now, I want you all to do this correctly. Yes, Ayed, Sarah. Uh huh. Abdul Hedi, Madam, Ines, Slaith, Emna, Wajd, Madam, good. Asma, Hiba, Muhammad, Aisha, Suhail, Aya, Hanin. Excellent, everyone. I didn't see any mistake. So, when did, and then my subject, your uncle, and the verb die just the way it is so the answer is he died three years ago there are countless irregular verbs in <laughs> it uh, so he died yes good he died three years ago yeah this is regular so we simply add d Okay. My cat break its leg. Mm -hmm. Yes, break is irregular and it becomes broke. Yeah. My cat broke its leg, so I take it to the vet. Mm -hmm. I took, yes, make sure to spell took with double O. I took it to the vet. There is no E at the end. Nancy gave birth to a cute baby girl. Yes, gave is irregular and it becomes. So give is irregular and becomes gave. With an A, where you go last summer. Very good. It's a question. So we definitely need the auxiliary verb did. Where did you go? The answer is I. Mm -hmm. Yes, I went to Thailand. Very good. Now we have a conversation between David and Sarah and we'll keep practicing putting the verbs in the simple past. So let's have a boy and a girl. So, Nihet, let's have you for David and Sara. You are Sara. <laughs> Hello, Miss. Hi there. Hello. So, go ahead, please. Where did you go for your last holiday, Sara? I went cycling in France with two friends. Oh, yes. You uh, get to France. So how do I spell this? G. There is a question. Did. Yes. So how did you get? Very good. We caught the ferry to Czechburg. So how do I spell caught? C A U uh, G H T. Good. Stay in, uh, did uh, did you stay in an hotel? Only twice when the weather wasn't very good. The rest of the time we camped. We camped, so uh, we didn't spend much money. Oh, uh, yeah, we didn't spend much money. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, we did not spend. We didn't spend. Yes. Did it rain, Marsh? Very good. Did it rain? 
-hmm. No, the sun shined most day. The, the, the sun shined. Mm, this is an irregular verb. Oh. Um. Not, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if uh, your friend knows it. Nihad, do you have any idea how the verb shine becomes? Shine. There is, so basically, the I becomes another vowel. Any ideas? So, so how you. Yes, shown. that's it. That's it. Yes, shown with O. Mm -hmm. Go on. Did uh, you have uh, any problems? Okay, good. Yes. Did you have any problems? Excellent. Thank you, Nihed and Sara. Yeah. We'll have another pair for the rest. Okay, then. <clears throat> Let me see. Let's have Laith for the boy and Asma for the girl. Hello, Miss. Hi, Laith. Asma, hi. Hi, Miss. Hello. Hello. So, of, of course, uh, Asma, you are Sarah, and Laith, you are David. Well, uh, I fell off my bike once. And we forgot to make, uh, to take any tea bags, mm -hmm. but we didn't have any mechanical problems. Okay, so how do I spell fell? Uh, F mm -hmm. E double L. Okay, what about forgot? Uh, F O R J O T G, mm -hmm. G O. Good. Yes, David. What did you do in the evening? Mm -hmm. We found a campsite, uh, a campsite, uh, and then we went shopping in the in the nearest village. Cooked a big dinner, ate lots of food, and drank wine. It was great. When okay. did you come back? Sorry to interrupt. How do we spell drank? G R A N K. Very good. And what about found? F uh, O U N D. Mm hmm Good. Yes, David. When did you get back? I flew I flew uh, home last summer, but my friends came back three days later. They didn't want to leave France. Mm -hmm. How do we spell flu? F L uh, E W. Excellent. Thank you, Asma and Leif. You're welcome. Welcome. Okay, then. Uh, is everything clear, the others? 